Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about Kindle Unlimited books that I just put on my TBR. I love Kindle Unlimited if you could not tell. I check out a lot of books from KU all of the time, but you're only allowed to keep 20 books in your Kindle Unlimited library. So these are books that are not in my library currently. They're on a list on Amazon that I have. <laughs> I have many lists on Amazon, but this is my Kindle Unlimited wish list and the ones that are definitely at the top for me. I think I have 18 books here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope that you can get some recommendations from me from this because some of these books I've never heard about before until I either got one recommendation from somebody on YouTube, TikTok or something, or it literally just popped up on KU for me. So let's get started. I'm so excited to talk about these and hopefully read them very soon. First, I have Unlikely Match by Laura Bradbury. I found this on one Instagram post a while ago and it has stuck with me. The cover looks so cute and it has disability representation in it. This is also Own Voices. The author, Laura Bradbury herself, is also a transplant um, patient. She has gone through some transplants and that is what our heroine in this book is going through as well. So our heroine in here, her name is Jules and this is her hate to love romance with Tom Davenport, who I believe is like a company rival at her job. Um, but she's going through a lot of stuff for um, her health, obviously, like I just mentioned. And so this is just a bantering enemies to lovers romance between the two. I cannot wait to read this one. I bet the representation here is just phenomenal because of it being own voices. So I'm just so excited to read this. One that I saw on, I think TikTok, I don't know, is The Fiction Between Us by Julie Olivia. The cover got me. Look how cute this cover is. I did find out that this is the second one in a series, so I might go check out book one, but this one just looks so stinking cute. This is a part of a series called the Honeywood series, where it's kind of like a theme park for princesses, you know? And so the heroine in here has been basically the queen of the theme park for 10 years. But then Landon, her best friend's twin brother and her old high school bully, I believe starts working at the theme park. Landon ends up falling on the stage during one of the shows that they have and the guests mistake him as like a character instead of just a worker there. Um, and they they name him Ranger Randy. <laughs> and then her boss tells her that uh, her character and Ranger Randy must appear as a couple to guests now. <laughs> so they're kind of like fake dating for an audience, but she actually like can't stand Landon because he bullied her when they were in high school and she had a huge crush on him. And then she also has to like kiss him on stage. And oh my gosh, this looks so cute. It's grumpy sunshine and like a fun little fake dating scenario. Oh my gosh, this just looks so good. I need to figure out if I need to read book one first. Also, if you've read any of these books, please let me know. I wanna know your opinion. I wanna know your thoughts. One that I am dying to check out is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This just looks so good. Look at this cover. I'm gonna say that for a lot of these books. A lot of these books, the cover is what hooked me at first. This is a romance between Anastasia and Nathan. So Anastasia has been working all of her life to be in the US Olympics, specifically for figure skating. She's even right now on a full college scholarship and is on the Maple Hills, I assume that's the college skating team. Nathan is the captain of the Maple Hills Titans, which I believe is the hockey team. And then a misunderstanding happens where the two uh, teams, so the figure skating team and the hockey team have to share the rink and Anastasia's partner ends up getting hurt and oh my gosh, and Nathan, Nate, finds himself swapping his stick for tights. Oh my gosh, so he becomes her figure skating partner. That looks so good. Like, I am dying to read this now. I want to read this so badly. It's like over 400 pages though, and if you know me, I'm intimidated by thick books. So um, hopefully I do pick this one up soon. It just looks so good. Next is Taken by the Dark Elf King by Charlotte Swan. So this is actually not out yet. This comes out on October 25th. And I'm so excited to read this because one of my favorite book talkers, um, her handle's like Charlie Swan something. She wrote this, she wrote this. She's kind of like that book talker that sparked IPB to get big on book talk and uh, she wrote her own book. And look how stunning this cover is. I'm so excited. I haven't even read the summary yet. <laughs> I wanna read the summary for this one, okay? This says, Princess Elvina has never seen a dark elf in her life. As princesses, 
of the light elves, the two kinds have been separated since before her birth. When a royal messenger arrives inviting them to a ball hosted by the king of the dark elves, Elvie knows she cannot pass up this once in a lifetime opportunity. Even after the warnings from her father, Elvie knows this will be a night she'll never forget. She expected to end the night with sore feet from endless hours of dancing, not to be engaged to the king himself. Trapped in this new kingdom, Elvie knows she must make the most of her situation. With each passing day, she learns that King Arcane is now what she thought a dark elf would be like. Sure, he is mean and beastly compared to the males she is used to, but Elvie quickly finds that to be the reason he excites her so much. I absolutely love this author now, author or TikTok creator, because she just loves monster romances and alien romances like as much as me. And I adore it. I love it. And so this is going to be good. I just know it. I just, I, will, I hope so, honestly. Another book talker that I follow is Jillian Graves. She wrote titan which is a monster romance i have not read it yet it's very thick so it's intimidating me but that one is on my tbr as well but the one that i put on this list for today that i just recently found out about is blood moon this is a rivals to lovers vampire and witch romance this one comes out on october 18th i believe this one is also a novella so that's putting it higher on my tbr because it's shorter than 400 pages <laughs> i'll just list off the tropes that she has on here for you because that's what sparked me over six foot plus size witch mind reading vampire lovers to rivals to lovers grumpy heroine smart a hero one night stand and there's mirror play and look at the cover honestly honestly i just also love her tiktoks and so I really want to read a book by her. Titan is just like daunting to me because it's so huge, but I'm going to read it one day. This one is probably a higher on my TBR because it is way shorter than that one. <laughs> one that I saw on Instagram is Happily Haunted Afters by Brittany Kelly. So this is a second chance romance between our heroine. I don't know what her name is. It doesn't say, but a romance with her and her ex best friend, Jack. And I think the reason why they're not friends anymore is because she developed feelings and something happened where they weren't friends after that. But the heroine's dream in life is to own a hotel and also fix her relationship with Jack and to become friends with him again. And he's like a big investor now and she really needs his help to start up her hotel business. And the two of them, I guess, have to spend like this short period of time together in this different hotel to work together, get on the same foot. However, the heroine finds herself falling for Jack again, and she thinks it's going to ruin their relationship. And there's also some spooky things happening, I guess, at the hotel that they're staying at. Um, so I guess that's why I happily haunted afters. <laughs> um, but this just looks so cute. I just, I needed to add it to my TBR. <laughs> Another one that I found on Instagram is First Down, a fake dating college sports romance by Grace Riley. This is a romance between Bex and James. But James is a football player. Football means everything to him. But the only issue is he doesn't think he can play anymore or he's threatened by other people that he can't play anymore because of his horrible grades um because it takes place in college he needs to retake and pass this specific writing class he failed at his last college because he's transferred to this new one so i believe the heroine beckett bex ends up becoming his tutor she is gorgeous stubborn and just his type <laughs> but the price for her help is a fake relationship and he never does things halfway <laughs> so bex she claims that she never ever gets with football players or um, athletes in general. And then she comes across James who needs help in a certain class. But when his teammate, her cheating ex, won't leave her alone, she realizes that she needs a fake boyfriend to convince her that she, to convince her ex that she has moved on. So the two of them fake date. That looks so cute. I love a good fake dating romance. And I feel like a lot of these books on here is like sport college romances. So like, I think I'm in a mood. We have a monster romance that I've heard about. This is Her Orc King by Zoe Ashwood. So this is about a heroine who's a human woman who gets taken by a massive scarred orc king who decides that she is his mate. And he refuses to let her leave his cave. Like she is going to be his. But the heroine hates orcs. Like he ha she hates them and so she's really struggling. <laughs> then he insists on taking care of her, both her body and soul, and he won't take no for an answer. I love a good kidnapping romance, especially with monster and fantasy romances. They're just so good to me. I love them. 
so I, I think this one's gonna be good. I haven't read a Candy Steiner in a while and one that I think I heard Caitlin from the Love Librarian talk about is Weightless. The summary doesn't really give me a lot, I just remember her talking about it and me really wanting to read it. Candy Steiner can be emotional at times um, and definitely rip your heart out, but she puts it back together slowly but surely. It says that this is an angst, mystery, and suspense romance that collide together. I believe it's like Second Chance and this guy like ruined the heroine's life. I'm pretty sure. So that's all I can gather from the summary, but I love going into her books blind. So next is one I actually found on, um, I, if you have not watched my how to get free eBooks legally, legally, how to get free ebook video down below. I have a tutorial. I'll link it down below for you. Um, but I get this email every single day of free book deals that are on Amazon. And at the bottom, there's always like a 99 cent deal for some books that are on sale that are not free, but they're like 99 cents or a dollar. And this one was one of them, but it's also on KU. So I'm going to get it off of KU, obviously. So this is Daddy Fever by um margo scott this dr daddy is all in for his curvy patient <laughs> so the hero in here has moved back to his like i think hometown in order to patch things up with his son but then he meets his bet his son's best friend the heroine of this book and um uh, he meets her while she's in the obgyn it's the office like on the table he's doing an exam on her and um, she claims that she's hell bent on like ditching her V-card as soon as possible. And he kind of like tells her like, hey, you might not want to do that with some like drunken boy you just met that's not very safe. How about I do it for you instead? This just looks so hot and so fun. I love, I love it. It's going to be so good. I, I hope it's really good. I do. I think a recommendation I got off of TikTok is Fake Empire by CW. Farnsworth. This is a standalone steamy arranged marriage romance. I love arranged marriage romances. There's Rich, then there's the Ellsworth family, the Kensingtons, American royalty. Money buys power and power always has a price. The fear of those who already possess both, losing it. The best way to ensure keeping it, alliances. And elites don't marry down, they marry equal. For Scarlett Ellsworth and crew Kensington, that leaves one option, each other. Accepting the inevitability is very different from embracing it. That's the only thing they agree upon. It was meant to be a union for better and for business. Instead, it challenges everything Scarlett and crew knew about themselves, their family, and most of all, each other. I think the TikTok that I saw was like, gives me Gossip Girl vibes. So if you love Gossip Girl. A alien romance that I saw is Stolen by Starlight by Sarah Ivy Hill. The hero in here is an alien and he ends up scenting his mate and kidnaps her. But every chance that she gets, she ends up running away from him and he's so shocked. He's like, why? You're my baby mate, come back. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what's wrong. Like I'll do anything for her if she's my mate. And so Ada is the heroine of this book and the hero who kidnapped her is actually an alien king. But all she wants is to find her little sister who's missing instead. And so they strike up a deal if he rescues her sister, she will be his queen. Y'all know me, I love alien romances, so. I'm hoping this one's good. It's like the first in like a pretty long series. So if I like it, I'm going to binge all the other ones. Next, I have Twisted by Renee Rocco. Um, I think this was a TikTok wreck. And this is a Rapunzel retelling. So I think the king, the king of this land, like kidnapped the heroine. She's been standing her whole life in this tower. And then this guy named Ren comes and rescues her. But he's no Prince Charming. So that's what I'm going to leave it at. I love Rapunzel retellings. I need to read more of them. If you have any, leave them in the description or not description, sorry. If you have any, leave them in the comments down below for me, please. I think I heard Jess from Honest Fiction talk about this one. This is A Devious Lies by Parker S. Huntington. So this is a situation where our heroine is really into her friend Reed. And so she decides to try and seduce him by getting with him like at night or whatever and like the dark of his room. But when the lights turn on, she realizes that she is currently with, in the same room with his brother instead. It's an age gap romance. She's 22, he's 32. And I think her family like ruined his. And so he hates her and his entire, and her entire family. And she is in need of some money and he is now a billionaire. And so I don't know how, but they strike up a deal. And um, I think he'll get his revenge by hiring her at his company possibly. I don't know, we'll see. But I heard Jess talk about it, took a screenshot on my phone 
and just I needed, I needed to read it. Next is Lackluster by Pamela Bellingston. Guinevere Gwen is a popular food blogger and um, she is not one to give second chances for her food reviews. Um, but then a chef reaches out after one of her lackluster reviews and she is less than impressed. She ends up bumping into this guy at a farmer's market who just happens to be like the man of her dreams. Um, but he might be keeping a secret. I have an inkling he might be the chef that sent her that one email, you know? But they just looked good. I love like foodie romances. So next is another TikTok one. And we have a Queen's Game by Eerie Lee. This one is over 800 pages though. So we'll see when I get to this. <laughs> so I think this book has like three perspectives. You have Marietta, who is a half half elf commoner kidnapped and forced into marriage with an elven lord, Valeria, a queen without power, undermining the husband she loathes for the legacy she craves, and Elise, a lady with untold potential determined to remain unseen. So it just says this book blends royalty, fantasy, romance, and political intrigue for an unforgettable story that will leave you guessing until the end. Um, the summary has like a bunch of different perspectives for the three different perspectives, but this just sounded good. And like, I'm wanting to find like a good like fantasy romance series. So hopefully this one will be that. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some Kindle Unlimited romance books that are at the top of my TBR. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any red emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.